Oh, good morning, everyone. Oh, welcome to another time here in the Hopper Room. Um, I think my light. All right. So, uh, happy Independence. It's uh, Nigerian's Independence Day celebration. And uh, oh, you're all welcome. Uh, let's start from, uh, you know, um, just meditating yesterday, I just uh, got impressed to not probably yesterday, was it yesterday or the day before, whichever one, you know, just got impressed to tweak the name of our meeting together slightly. Uh, right now we call it praying and the Holy Ghost. And uh, I, I got an impression in my spirit to change the name to Believer's Prayer Meeting. Uh, and that kind of tallies with something that been in my mind years past, you know, always dreamt of myself uh, leading prayer meetings and I always dreamt of myself, you know, not standing in front and calling prayer points, you know, just creating an atmosphere where people could come and enter into the true room of God and, and just pray, just pray their hearts out, not someone having to uh, dictate how long the prayer on a particular point, you know, and breaking the floor, but just ushering people into the into the presence of God, and we just come and just pour our heart out. And what has always been in my heart has been uh, a believer's prayer meeting. Probably that tallies also with uh, some of my mentors. You know, I remember years ago with um, uh, John Austin. You know, uh, on Sundays we used to have a uh, uh, church set. Is in the evenings, you know, we have the general one in the morning and we do have uh, another service on, on Sunday night. And I think that was the same thing with Papa Egan. And those were what was, were tagged more like a believers meeting, right? It was like the morning was for everybody in general, but in the evening, you know, it was like a believers meeting. It was a time when uh, the Holy Ghost was giving free flow. You know, and, and that's probably what's coming to my heart, you know, as we do this, you know, that will probably better name tag, you know, believe is a uh, prayer meeting. And uh, probably that op opens the spell. So for those who have been uh, holding back because they feel they can't pray in the Holy Ghost, you know, and, and like I explained, uh, you know, ever before we started all of this. It's not just being able to pray in the Holy Ghost. It's, it's also a place of praying in the spirit where it doesn't have to be praying in the Holy, praying in tongues per se. I mean, you can pray in understanding, but um, as it were, under the influence of the Holy Spirit. And that's the part Ephesians was talking about in Ephesians chapter six, where he talks about praying with all type of prayer in the spirit, right? It, it's that place where it's just a place where you you allow yourself to be influenced by the Holy Ghost, right? And you're praying the points that is bringing to your heart, right? Not necessarily what you are thinking about. You you are like as it were you mess yourself in His presence and you you pray according to that which is leading and directing you. And we'll continue talking about this uh, after prayer. Let's pray.